Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. I'm tying a Kraken Reef fly for you. Uh, it's my grey boy duck fly. As always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who would like to support the channel and get access to the members only content as well as being entered into the free giveaways. So I've got my hook my vice. This is a uh, super grub, size 12. You can also use a Camazan B100. I'm just going to start my thread, Olive 8 that down a wee bit. I'm going to tie in my rub which is olive span flex or flex floss. I first tied this fly I reckon 36 uh, about 24 years ago. Um, and actually I used it to qualify for my, it was the fly that caught nearly all of my fish um, when I qualified for my second Scotland cap at the youths. So with that tied in, just trimmed away my waist and I'm ready to get some dubbing. And I'm using mole, just natural brain mole. Need a fair amount. Just bang that on your thread. Um, and it's caught fish fairly consistently for me over the years as well. Um, it's versatile. You can fish it pulled. You know that I was that was my original sort of um, idea when I was tying this tying like a sort of pulling buzzer for uh, Karen Valley for the Browns. I mean, at the time there was a sort of general idea that. Browns were a lot less likely to eat a, a buzzer, like a super glue buzzer or something without the hackle and the wee bit of movement. Or it also fishes quite well as an emerger if you grease it up. So I've got my dubbing and I've basically did my abdomen and I've left myself 6mm at the head there. Now, I like to just put a wee half hitch in here because um, I'm going to put in loads of ribs right? and I'm going to counter rub this with a flex floss, span flex, whatever you call it, it's the same stuff. Quite close wrap, wraps, right? I, mean, I didn't count them but Looks like about 10. One turn over, one turn onto the hook, one turn over, one turn onto the hook, locks it, fold it back, and wrap over, and you can let it let the tension off. Just trim that away nice and neat. Now that's well ribbed, it's well protected, it's, it's uh, gives you a nice, there's a wee sheen segmentedness from the the rib there. Then I'm just going to make a wee thorax and I've got some just pearl, UV pearl uh, ice tub. I actually originally used the um, light bright but I don't have any of that, I can't, I can't seem to get a, hand, a hold any here in Japan. So, but I've blended that with a mole. That's just got to make a wee thorax. Just got to dub up a wee slightly thicker ball. Oh. Come to the front, and at this stage I'll just give it a wee rough up and you can see hopefully the mole 
sort of veils that reflects loss because you're a nice wee sheen and we're ready for the hackle this is just a grizzle cock um, just taken from a saddle or sort of lower grade cape I want it to be spiky enough but no super you know, a, 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 a good dry fly next too hard, too sharp and I'm just going to put on a couple of turns probably two or three turns you don't need a load a hackle on this what you say that's good yeah that's about two and a half three couple of turns to hold it fold everything back break away the hackle stem again just put everything back and tidy up nice wee head and you're ready to whip finish lovely and a wee quarter varnish finishes the fly um, you could rough it up a bit more than this if you want uh, the velcro but the the fish will not take long to do it. So there you go. That's uh, my wee grey boy duck fly. What's a treat for browns, rainbows, still waters, and rivers? Wet or dry, well worth fishing or worth having. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was useful. If it was, please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.